All right, guys, lately I've been working at my lather skills. And today is no different. I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna come out and we're gonna have a relaxing shave. That's the plan. Be back in one second. I'll be right back. All right, guys, fresh out of the shower, keeping it real. I'd probably jump right into shaving because I've got a nice steam going and pores are open. So I'm gonna do that today. I'm not gonna talk as much, but I do have some lather going and I'll be shaving today with a beautiful razor, vintage razor that was given to me by my good friend, Jimmy G. He's awesome, great supporter of the show, knowledgeable. If you have any questions about shaving, Jimmy G is the man, so thanks, brah. He gave me this. This is the holy grail of vintage razors, in my opinion. It's the Gillette 195 Adjustable, AKA the Fat Boy. Now look at that, just beautiful. Nice, hefty razor, adjustable, so you can dial down or up the aggression to uh, suit your needs. So let's get right into it. Gonna go with an Astra Blade. And I'm gonna start the setting today near the top at the seven. I don't know if you can see that. And you have to open the butterfly. You have to open the gates when you wanna adjust. I'll start with a seven. I'll dial it back down for subsequent passes and let's get cracking. I have warm water on the face. I'll be shaving with Temmerman. Now this is a beautiful, beautiful soap, sort of a collaboration between Pastor Pharmacy in New York City and Holy Cow. Just a beautiful, wonderful smell to it. Nice warm smell and a nice slick lather here, which I will be applying and we'll get right into it, guys. Uh, I'm using my FM Retro 3D brush. And what I love about this brush, first of all, I love the people at FM Brush. They're awesome. They make quality products. And they've been doing it for over a hundred years or damn near a hundred years. Right here in America, Glendale, New York. Family owned business, awesome people. So that's the start but the products are great. They pioneered synthetics. They were doing synthetics when it wasn't popular. And just have a host of brushes, artist brushes, beauty brushes, men's shaving brushes, all kinds of brushes. All right, so here we are for the lather experts. You know, maybe there's Maybe I need a little bit more water, but I like it. It's nice and thick. So I'm starting off on a seven. Let's get cracking. First pass is with the grain of the hair. Grain of the hair on my face grows down. So I'm gonna shave down. Hair on your neck can shave in all different directions. When I first started wet shaving, the gentleman that I saw on YouTube said that mostly the hair grows up, which isn't always the case. So what I've done and I've got accustomed to is doing the first pass with the grain down and then flipping and going up with the grain. We'll get into beard mapping if that's something that's important. I mean, you're doing three passes, right? So you're going to go with the grain, against grain, and uh, across grain anyway. So it's just in my muscle memory. So first pass, guys, 30 degree angle letting the weight of the device do the work. Two sides of a double-edged razor, use them both before you clean up. And that is very nice. The seven setting on this with that Astra Green, maybe just what the doctor ordered for a first pass. Cause it's got enough horsepower to get the job done. 
no problems attacking this three day growth, but it's nice and smooth. And it's doing great work. Ah, oh, that's, that's beautifully smooth. Oh, wonderful. The smell of the Timmerman guys is just wonderful. I have to call Leon at Pastor Pharmacy because I don't see on the packaging what the uh, what the fragrance notes are, but I'm telling you, it's wonderful. It's got a nice, earthy, warm smell to it. It's a very slick soap. It's not the easiest soap to lather, but it's when you get there requires lots of water. Thirsty soap. Oh, that's nice. Now I got a comment recently from Courtney Russell. Courtney Russell asked me about Gillette Double Edge Razors, the new breed of Double edge razors that have been released over the last couple of years. You have the Nostalgic Heritage razor, which I'll show you in a minute, and the King C Gillette double edge safety razor designed and marketed for folks that are trimming beards. But you know, it's a great starter DE razor. Now he asked that those two heads were interchangeable with the handle, so if you bought both, could you interchange them? And the answer to that, Courtney, is yes. So I told you I would get back to you. And I have, I'll show you though, guys. So a little bit more warm water. We're gonna go back into our second pass. But before I do, I started with a seven, and I'm gonna dial this back. So I'm gonna make it a more mild shave. So you gotta open up the, the barn doors, if you will. And I'll dial this back to a four. So we're gonna go seven, four, and then we'll go all the way down to one. Think of like sandpaper grit, right? So, as you, as you finish a piece, you get that last smooth pass with your sandpaper. It's a very fine uh, grit, very mild grit that gives you that polish. Same concept applies here. So I eliminated a lot of wood or a lot of hair with that first pass at a higher grit or a lower grit, I guess. Lower grit. And I'm working my my way down. Okay, so let's go. Second pass, we'll apply some more of this beautiful Timmerman classic shaving soap. I'll leave a link in the description box below with the address and also the online address for Pastor Shaving. It's a landmark in New York, guys, for the wet shaving community. If you haven't been there, if you visit New York, you have to go there. If you haven't purchased from them, awesome. Go check them out. Purchase from them. They support the wet shavers, the artisan soap companies, the shaving manufacturers. They're great guys. Leon is an awesome dude. 
and let him know the average guy sent you. All right, second pass, I'm gonna go cross grain. So I'm gonna take the same angle, 30 degree angle, and I'm gonna shave across my face. I can see where I need to add more water. So on our last pass, we will add some more water. Again, a very thirsty soap, but so slick and smooth and just beautiful. It smells oh, just divine. Nice, warm, great soap for fall and winter. Short strokes, limited pressure. Let the heft of the device do the work for you guys. No need to push it. I always say you're not digging, you're shaving. Last couple of times out of the box, got a couple of weepers down here. So this blade combination, blade and Aggressive aggressiveness combination setting has been good so far. And the protective slickness of this beautiful soap. On this cross green pass, I'm not trying to do too much. I'm going with the contours of the face and the neck. You're never trying to force anything when you're shaving. Just let, let it come to you. It's what my mix need to do. Just let the game come to you. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water to the mix, all right? Because the soap has been sitting, it's starting to dry out. Just a little at a time. And for the final pass, I've always liked to thin out my foam anyway. Because remember, you're going very mild. It's the get right pass. So you want to thin it out. Anyway, I probably could go with a little bit more water. It's still on the dry side. Picked up just a little bit more warm water. Oh yeah. The magic happens when it hits the face. Like a face lather. Gora says he enjoys the face lather. And that's what I love about this community. No one's giving you the business. Everyone's just trying to help you out. And I love it. Lots of you have helped me with my shaving techniques, my lather techniques. Ooh. And I'm losing my, I'm losing my towel. Right out of the shower. All right. Right, we're gonna dial this down again. We're gonna open up and we're gonna dial this down to the minimum setting, the one. This is a whisper pass. The against grain pass is a questionable pass for many people who have uh, skin problems, sensitive skin, ingrown hairs. 
Don't want to do too much here. So I'm going to flip the blade, go cross grain or against grain rather. And I'm just taking my time. And you're still hearing some of that feedback. And this is just your finishing, your get right path. Get up into the nooks and crannies. Tend to the sensitive bits around the lips. I got a comment recently from someone, and I apologize for not writing these down. And he said that I'm failing to stretch the skin. I've never been a big fan of stretching the skin when I'm shaving. I'm trying to avoid cutting the whiskers too short because cutting them too short can promote ingrown hairs. I don't need to be baby's baby's bottom smooth. But for folks that do, definitely the techniques of stretching and pulling the skin to get at certain areas. The tongue technique around here. All can be deployed. Just not my bag. But I appreciate the comment. And again, I flipped the blade on the neck to the traditional grip to go against grain on the premise that your hair grows upward. And again, most all of us have different hair patterns. The neck is a kind of quirky area. I will give you a technique that I learned on that first video tutorial about a prominent Adam's apple like I have. If you have a prominent prominent Adam's apple and you want to remove it from play, if you swallow hard and hold it, it flattens that area and then you can shave on in that area. So let's do that. Let's swallow hard, hold it. And then you can get to that, that spot. That is the one place where in the past I have you know, pull the skin so you can shade that area. And there you have it. A beautiful, nice, three pass, silky smooth. I mean, if I were Jimmy G or Mark Fuentes, I'd be probably going to over buff, right? But I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Just a casual weekend shave. All right, so now I'm gonna rinse with some cold water. I'm gonna throw on some aftershave and then I'll show you these other Gillette razors. So I get lots of comments about Gillette. They started to die down a bit as we get away from what I would consider one of the most damaging marketing campaigns a company in the modern times has done. But I get it all the time. And if you don't know about the controversy a few years back, a couple years back, you know, Gillette came out with a anti-toxic male campaign, kind of accused men of being toxic. You know, I thought it was a very confusing 
add, sort of a condescending ad. And when you think of who buys their products, they sort of insulted the critical mass of their, their customer. Don't know, but Gillette has always been a leader in this community, guys. They've always been innovative. If you look at this 195 adjustable, I believe it was listed or called the 195 because that was the suggested retail price when it was uh, when it entered the market, dollar ninety-five. All right, it's a beautiful razor. So you had a double-edged razor, but this gave you the ability to change the aggressiveness of the razor. So you might have had manufacturers that made aggressive safety razors, and some that were more mild. This gave you the ability to do all, right? You could be as mild as you want it to be. You could be as aggressive as you want it to be. And that is Gillette. They're always tinkering, adjusting, changing, marketing, remarketing. This is what they do. All right. So you're looking at probably in 1959-ish, uh, something that was released that was the Mach 3 of the 90s, the 80s, late 80s, early 90s, whatever that was. Now, this is not a political show, but I appreciate everyone's comments and I understand the problems that a lot of people have, but they're the big boys in the market and I'm going to cover them and I'm going to celebrate the successes they have on the playing field, right? So let's talk about some recent... Now, before we do that, though, let's put on this aftershave. Again, Pastor Pharmacy, awesome place in the city. You got to get there or you got to order from these guys because they're awesome. This is the Battle of New York aftershave and cologne. It's amazing. This was a collaboration between PAA, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, and Pastor Pharmacy. Made this wonderful aftershave and a great soap as well, which I have to get. But uh, we have to shave. It's just amazing, guys. Nice and bright. Ah, just a great finish to a wonderful shave. Battle of New York. All right, let's get into these Gillette razors. A couple, two, three years ago, Gillette introduced a razor. It was sort of a it's a heritage piece called the Heritage Razor because Gillette wanted to remind folks that we're going run into the DE space that, you know, we created this. We, we pioneered the double-edged razor. We're still in the game. So this is the Gillette Heritage Razor. Comes in this cute little case that tells you or reminds me of the 70s. This is like a 70s feel all the way around. It's like a faux leather. It's got King C's Gillette's signature in, emblazoned in it or embossed or etched or whatever you want to call that. Nice faux velour King C Gillette logo, the old school logo. And it came with a five pack of Gillette Silver Blue. Very nice little three piece system. To me, it's a nice piece for the den, but it's very small, like the handle. Nice knurling, decent weight to it, but this handle is a little short. I like a longer handle. I like to have more control, or I feel like I have more control with the longer handle. But it's a very, very nice piece to certainly have in your shaved den. So Courtney Russell, asked me because he had purchased this but also king c gillette eh, about a year and a half ago released this double-edged safety razor it's got the king c gillette logo on the head here right it's got increased heft very nice hefty razor knurling at the top but nice long handle, so if you want to go for that long stroke. And it has very much an identical head. 
to the heritage raiser. So for Courtney, he wants to know if I could take this King C. Gillette head Will it fit on the Heritage Razor? And the answer, Courtney, is yes. Now I have a King C. Gillette head on that Heritage Razor, which actually feels like it adds a little bit to the heft, or if you wanted to switch them, but they're very similar. And they're very similar in in smoothness, a very mild, nice starter razor. Both really good additions to your shaved in, if you have one, if that's what you do. Courtney, thanks for asking that question and thanks for watching and supporting the channel. Bah. Last but not least, I'll show you this Retro 3D brush and why I love this Retro 3D brush. Now it's wet, but that probably would show you even better. There's two tiers of bristle, so you have this top tier here and the lower tier and what that does is it, is it helps collect that foam it helps to get a little bit more penetration it's like a dual zone penetration when you're adding the foam and it's interesting it's unique it's different but the hair is a premium premium synthetic badger silver tip badger hair this nice seamless handle here, antimicrobial, easier to clean. You don't have to wet soak it with synthetic hair and no badger is harmed in the production of this brush. FM brush, I'll leave a link in the description box below. Let them know the average guy wants this brush. Mass marketing, let's do it. And my live bin bowl. I'll leave links to all this, all these products in the description box below. Hope you guys have a great day. Get out and do something fun. And I will see you next time. <laughs> but in the meantime, you know what to do. Keep pushing play. Now roll the music.